Welcome back to another episode of Ask Coach Matthew. In this episode, we're going to set up a 90-minute preseason fitness team training using a soccer ball. The training session will start out with a 5v2 pre-training session to get the players ready. Then we'll transition once the play training starts to our warm-up component. We'll transition the warm-up component to a technical component. And then from the technical component, we'll transition to our tactical component that we want to talk about for the session. And then we'll bring all that back together with our end game. So now let's take a look at the preseason fitness training session using a soccer ball. The second warm-up component is a 1v1 dribbling exercise. The setup of the exercise between the yellow cone and the yellow cone is 15 meters apart. And beside both yellow cones on the baseline, that's you can make it 5 meters to 10 meters apart. The explanation of the exercise is the players dribble towards each other. They're 15 meters apart. And about 7 meters in the middle, they do their dribble move and go by each other. So we start out the exercise saying they do the dribble move and go towards their right. And that way the players don't run into each other. And then they make the pass to the player on the other side of the line. And then we repeat this movement. The coaching points for this exercise is obviously the timing of the dribble moves. Um, if you tell the players beforehand what dribble moves they're doing, so it's a step over, if it's a cutback move, if it's a 360, uh, that they do that move so you can correct them individually how to improve that. And they get used to doing that move while they're dribbling at pace towards an opponent running towards them, which is basically football. Uh, Defender's going to run towards them and they have to get around them. So they're working on that distance when they react to dribble uh, and make sure that the dribble move is about a 45 degree angle going by. So it's not 90 degrees straight, but it's more of an angle so they get that momentum always moving in the forward direction. We have set up three different technical trainings. On the top right of your screen, we're doing a 1v1 training session. The cones are 15 yards apart. Player on the bottom cone plays the ball into the player on the top cone, runs out to play defense, and they try to dribble to go by them. And the players containing and working on their running backwards footwork, keeping the player in front of them. So the coaching work, coaching points for this is make sure that the player is about a meter, meter, two meters behind and keeping that distance as they run backwards so the player doesn't run by them. It's more of a containing exercise. In the middle field, we have a 4v4 game. The field is 20 meters wide and 30 meters long. Two keepers in each goal. And it's a 5v5, four players on the field, one keeper in the goal. Game, you want the speed going fast. Let them attack a lot. Players moving around. Um, and it's just a 4v4 game to get them shooting in a tight space. On the left side of your field, on the field, you see the players in red. And there we've set out the player on the baseline on the yellow cone and the yellow cone out is about 30 yards out. And it's a diagonal cross to the player. They're running forwards to meet the ball and they're trying to hit it directly onto the goal. The players that serve the ball can play it sharply on the ground, middle height or for headers. And they want to vary it. So you want to get used to your players Attacking the ball, shooting it first time, wherever it is, if it's on the ground, if it's in the air, and tell the players on the side, keep it, just make sure that the ball is coming sharp, coming in. We rotate the exercise after five minutes. So every team rotates five minutes in each situations, and you have your 15 minutes to 20 minutes uh, technical aspect in your 90 minute training. It's a possession four goal game with outside players. The distance and the setup of the exercise are we have a square 20 meters wide, 30 meters long, and at each corner of the square we've put two small goals on the corner, and on the other side marked with the yellow flags two small goals. If you don't have yellow flags, you could just put a, a cone in the goal or a yellow vest or a red vest. This is just to differentiate for the players so they know what goal belong to each other. <laughs> The quick explanation of the exercise is in the middle is a 4v4 game. Coach plays the ball in. Players have to attack the goal on the other side and the supporting players on the outside play with whoever is in possession or the attacking team. Some coaching points that you're looking at for this is in the middle 
of the exercise is going to be close and compact, but the players always have that free player that they can pass the pa ball out to. So once they win the ball, get them to realize they can play the ball right to the target forwards, a quick release to the outside, or to release pressure, there's always that holding player they, they can pay, play the ball to. So make sure the players on the neutral team that are on the outside are constantly moving. So you've created basically a game-like situation with the players on the outside, with your outside wide players, your target forward, and a supported defender. So the players know when they win the ball, they get their heads up and realize which direction to go, and then we attack that space. Our extra fitness session we've added during the tactical component. Because of this situation, we're playing our tactical component is a 4v4 with four players outside, and the remaining four players are doing the fitness exercise and we rotate them after five minutes, so everyone gets five, 15 minutes altogether uh, as a team. The fitness exercise is, we have a yellow cone on the bottom, the orange cone and the yellow pole, the two of them are 15 yards apart, so we're creating a triangle 15 yards on each side, and then the far cone on the other side is 30 yards apart. So we've created this 30 yard sprint from the big orange cone to the yellow cone, in between with a zigzag, passing the ball. Explanation of the exercise is the player starts out dribbling from the yellow, dribbles towards the red pole, makes a pass to the player on the opposite side, makes that full sprint run in towards the cone and then an explosive run again towards the orange cone on the opposite side. Player who receives the ball takes it first time and attacks that space on the pole on the outside, making that pass to the opposite side to play on the yellow and we repeat the process. So the logic here is we have a group that is working on extra fitness and they transition from this unique, from this uh, exercise into our tactical components. So now we force them to concentrate on thinking and they're a little bit fatigued at the same time so we can kind of raise that intensity and that fitness level for them. Hope you've enjoyed this week's session. Don't forget to check out our Udeme official online soccer coaching course and like the video and subscribe to Ask Coach Matthew for weekly updates and coaching tips.